YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naya Danielle. If you are new here, and do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think about this video, babes. So today I am so excited because I am gonna be talking about one of my favorite ways to accessorize, which is jewelry. I love jewelry, y'all, and I can remember really loving jewelry from a pretty young age. I would say middle schoolish but over the years i have redefined my style over and over and over again but today i'm going to be talking about how i just accumulated pretty much my basics like my staple pieces in my collection and over here we keep it affordable and attainable so i'm also going to be talking about like some really good quality brands that are also affordable i'm going to be doing some hauls for some new jewelry that i have so if you are interested then stay tuned so the first thing that I personally did when defining my jewelry collection is really looking at my style. Look at your wardrobe. Define your style. Like I feel like I'm a bit of like classic but edgy because I really like classic looks but I want to bring just a little bit of edginess to it so I feel like my jewelry collection pretty much reflects that. Focus on the pieces that you really love and get a sense what you're most drawn to from a visual perspective. Look at your like favorite pieces in your closet. See if you are a little bit more edgy, if you're a classic, if you are a vintage girl. If you're quirky, if you're electric, really look at your style and pretty much curate your basic pieces and just your jewelry collection in general around your personal style. So that's what I did. The next thing I did was chose my precious metals and really looked at what looks good on my skin tone. We've got silver, we got gold, we got rose gold, um, yellow gold, but for me, I loved gold and silver. So I love them both equally. A lot of my jewelry reflects that as well. I have a lot of two-tone pieces with gold and silver because I equally like gold as much as I do silver. Some days I do an all silver look and some days I will do an all gold look, but I love them both equally and a lot of the pieces that I have combine both gold and silver. But for you personally, see what looks good on your skin tone. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of darker brown skin girls like me, like they love gold the way that gold just sits on their skin. I love it too, but like I said, I like both. So my collection reflects that. Okay, so the next thing I did was created a base collection of just staple and classic jewelry pieces. That way you're able to layer them. I started off with a good pair of studs. I got some new ones that I am going to unbox here. And they are Kate Spade. They are so pretty. Um, I'm gonna try them on as well. But these are definitely a base and a staple. Studs are really a staple, like everybody. Everyone needs to have a pair of studs in their collection, like I said. These are Kate Spade. They're a bit larger than the average stud that I would wear, um, but they are gorgeous. They are sterling silver, and they're just so pretty. So, so the next staple that I suggest are hoops, y'all. I love me some hoops or huggies. Um, so huggies are just a smaller version of hoops if you are if you don't want to do the hoops I know a lot of girls don't like hoops and I always suggest like the smaller kind which are huggies But I am going to start off by showing y'all these gorgeous hoops that I have from a brand called love AJ I like a big hoop y'all. I can do both I actually really am loving huggies now. Um, I felt like these were really cute with my outfit today but I'm gonna show y'all in addition some huggies that I have from Love AJ as well. I have the smaller version of these. I have them in gold and silver. And let me try those on for y'all as well. These, I have them in silver as well. They are just a statement, completely diamond studded. Um, so cute. If you are not a fan of hoops, I would definitely suggest some huggies. But yeah. All right, so our next staple piece is going to be rings, y'all. So stackable rings are very, very important. I feel like it's because you can just mix and match them with so much. Y'all, these rings I have had for so, so long. 
So I'm gonna give y'all a rundown of these this jewelry brand that I really love. Like I have had these rings for maybe about four or five years. No tarnishing. So these are from So Feel Jewelry. Let's see if we can get. But these are just rings that I literally can just stack on. Like they are gorgeous. They have not tarnished. They have not faded. They have not lost any crystals. I have had these rings for years literally literally um, I love me stackable ring but some stacked rings I also like a thinner kind as well I feel like having just something more uh, these are really cute as well I got these from rocks box jewelry they are stackable and like I said, I really love a gold and silver combo. So we can just stack these on top of each other. And I can wear them double or I can wear them single. And yeah, super cute. Get you a tennis bracelet. If you don't have a tennis bracelet in your collection, get you one, honey. So I want to talk about this brand that I got put on and I absolutely love them. It is called Rocks Box and a lot of these brands that I am just speaking about and talking about now, I learned from Rocks Box. So if you don't know about them, they are a jury subscription. You can literally sample three pieces a month. You can keep them if you want. You can buy them. You can return them if you like. But they introduced me to so many different and unique brands and that's where I got this tennis bracelet from here so y'all know how hard it is to put on jewelry with long nails like I just got these nails and I am not used to this the tennis bracelet is gorgeous like I said I got this from rocks box and it's just pretty such a pretty and such a staple piece to layer with watches to layer with bangles to just layer or to just wear by itself pretty much so we love a cute tennis bracelet okay let's talk about watches because you need a classic watch in your collection if you don't have a classic a staple watch in your collection let me put y'all on i really wanted something that was great quality and that was also affordable and i found out this brand called movement this watch is a literally my staple if it focuses i can show y'all okay there we go there we go a little bit so this is literally a staple that i have and i wear this watch with everything i love how classic um, and simple this watch is but it also just makes such a just a great statement shout out to movement they have some really really nice pieces at a really good price there we go there we go so i'm trying to show y'all it's just classic um i'm actually looking for a piece that's silver and gold so i can have both you know the combo so i'm going to see if they have anything like that but i love this watch i love this jewelry i will also leave the link for this and for majority of the items that i am showing you all get y'all a classic watch okay all right and let's talk about statement pieces we need statement pieces we need statement earrings we need a statement necklace we need a statement ring we need those pieces that are just gonna be pop so I have a few that I'm gonna try on now y'all this right here love AJ and she is gorgeous seriously it makes such a statement she's very very simple but very unique i'm just loving the details and i actually learned about this brand from rocks box as well they be putting me onto the goods y'all rocks box is legit so this is one of my favorite statement necklaces let me show y'all about a couple rings a couple ring rings I am so excited about this next brand that I found out about. So their name is Soko. And let me read you just a little bit, just a little bit about the brand. So they are a women-led, people-first, ethical jewelry brand and tech-powered manufacturing platform built to connect artisans in Kenya, 
Kenya with a global market. So I have this piece from them and I have this piece as well talking about statement rings. Get into it. Get into it. Like I love these rings. They are literally such a statement. They are just gorgeous. Um beautifully made, beautifully crafted and I'm in love with these pieces. So I will leave the links to these below. Y'all go shop with them. Go and check them out. Cause we we gotta support, okay? Oh, I wanna put y'all on to or also just show a couple more statement necklaces that I am in love with. This is also from Soko, and this is called the Thin, the Thin Bar Pendant. So let me show y'all just how this sits. I cannot wait to wear this with like maybe something that's like really, really low neck V cut. It is a gorgeous statement necklace. I have one of my favorite statement necklaces that's my go to, which is this Kendra Scott. It's two tones, so it is gold and silver necklace. I love this piece. I told you all how I love just to mix my gold and silver. So a lot of my pieces are two toned. And last but not least, I'm gonna get into a staple. We talked about the tennis bracelet already, but we need a tennis necklace as well, okay? I'm thinking it is Love AJ, maybe? It is so pretty. I will link this as well. But it's just such a staple tennis necklace. Combining your classic looks with your statement pieces will really just take your look to the next level. So that's why I suggested a few in both categories, just as your staples, some necklaces to really stand out, but also just pairing them with some really simple things. It will take your jewelry look to the next level. Also, I wanted to just give you a tip because I used to do this all the time. I used to buy jewelry that was just super trendy, that was not good quality, not durable, and it never lasted. Try to stay away from fads, like jewelry fads that are going on, unless you really, really like it and really feel like that you'll enjoy that. Like, I remember like last year, I think it was like little resin rings. Like, let me show y'all. Y'all, I was so into these like little resin pieces, little cheap little things. I don't know, I don't know where they are now. Um, I don't, I don't even like them anymore. But try to stay away from just trendy things like that. Like I said, every once in a while, if you really, really like those, go ahead. But to curate, you know, your basics in your collection, just try to stay away from the trends if you want. And last but not least, let me just give y'all a few tips on how to keep your jewelry looking amazing. So over time, your jewelry comes in contact with moisture and air, which causes it to eventually tarnish. So putting your jewelry like in a bag, I have these rocks box. They are amazing. Um, they always give me these velvet little cloth bags that my jewelry comes in. So I always put them in there. Or I have these amazing jewelry holders that are pretty much enclosed. Just to, to keep as much air and moisture away from it as possible because I don't care if your jewelry real, it is your fat, it will tarnish. So you really have to keep in mind where you are storing your jewelry. This is crazy because I would be the one to just wear a necklace or wear a bracelet or wear a ring and never take it off. Rotate your jewelry. Jewelry is not meant to be worn like 24 seven, especially the same piece of jewelry for months and months at a time. Like take it off, you know, give it a rest. I'm not talking about your wedding band y'all. As far as just like your basic pieces and your everyday jewelry, take it off rotate it the clarity of your jewelry it won't last if you're bathing it and putting so much oils and soap and chemicals on it so rotate those pieces and take your jewelry off give it a break give your body and give your jewelry some time to breathe also make sure that you are giving it a wipe like we have so many oils that our body produces and that we even put on from perfume so give your jewelry a wipe down a good wipe down use a nice 
you know, simple cleaning cloth. It doesn't have to be anything too dramatic, but give it a nice wipe down so it can just stay shiny. So now that we are done with that, let's get into this haul from Rock's Box Jewelry. So the first one of the pieces that I have, I love the detailing in this. This is so pretty. Yo, first of all, let me show y'all how cute this packaging is. You know, little snake, snakey skin skin. So this is a piece from Love AJ. I love their branding. So dope, so cute. Now, so this is such, just a pretty, pendant like i said this is from love aj and i believe that i have the matching earrings as well and look at her super duper cute i gotta try them on y'all your girl is a happy camper okay i hope y'all got some tips some ideas i'm gonna leave links to majority of these pieces yeah i'll leave links to them most of them i got from rocks box like i said so shout out to rocks box y'all are real mvp it's such an affordable way to try different pieces out you can take a style quiz so they'll let you you know they'll kind of mix and match some pieces that you'll like for your style profile help you curate your style and i really hope that this helps and yeah let me know what y'all think let me know y'all favorite pieces and i will see you next time boo bye <laughs>